I create custom thinkorswim codes for people that reach out to me through my personal email available on my website. A few days ago, I received an email from someone stating that they enjoyed my RSI five minute column, which is this column here, as you're seeing on this scan that shows you the RSI value of a stock from within the scanner itself. And they wanted to know if I could build a thinkorswim scanner that returns stocks with a climbing RSI and volume over the last two or three one minute candles. And I thought that sounded like a really good idea for a scanner and maybe something other people would enjoy. So in today's video, we are going to be hopping into a custom think script filter and we're going to be building the scanner step by step. We're going to start this scanner off with the same kind of boiler room stock filters that I use in almost every single one of my scanners just to sort of weed out the real crappy stocks. There's a lot of real crappy stocks that I personally would rather just not even worry about showing up in my scanner in the stock market. So we have a closing price of at least a dollar. I don't want to look at penny stocks. If you do, obviously change that. Set a market cap to be larger than zero because if you don't, a lot of real, real, real small market cap just real like they're building uh, radar sensors out of their mom's garage type stocks will be popping up and a volume set to at least one. Anything that's just literally not trading, we don't want to see. Now, next, let's throw in the custom filter here. I'm going to go to add filter. I'm going to go to study. And from here, if I click on this little pencil and hop into the think script editor, we can get to work. Now in the email from my website user, they stated that they wanted to see an RSI increasing over the last two or three one minute bars. Well, the first thing we need to do then is click on this aggregation here, switch it from day to one minute. We want to be running this code, running this scan against the values that are shown on the one minute chart as that was what is asked for. So this one's pretty simple. If I pull in the RSI function, let's say that the current RSI is greater than the RSI from last bar and that the RSI from the last bar is greater than the RSI from two bars ago. So running this scan real quick to test it and having it sorted by top down, most volume traded, the current number one stock on it is Amazon. Looking at the Amazon one minute chart, you will see here on the RSI that the current bar RSI is greater than the one before, and it's also greater than the bar before that. We are currently looking at the last two RSI values should be ramping up. In this case on Amazon is true. If we go down to the next stock quickly on ET, also true, you can see the RSI ramping up over the last two bars. So the site member in that email did ask for the last two or three bars. So let's just add an extra bar back in case they, or obviously you want to look at an RSI curve over the last three one minute bars. Of course you would just do the RSI from two bars ago is greater than the RSI from three bars ago. And obviously if you wanted to, you can continue to add this out as long as you wanted. But now we are looking at three different RSI greater than comparisons over the last ascending number of bars as such. And if I run this scanner, our results should be correct. And just to quickly confirm that they are, the top stock is now DAL. Delta Airlines, if we load in this one minute chart, we should see a three bar ascending RSI, which we do one, two, three. The last three RSI values have been greater than one another. You are now being returned stocks with building RSI values over the last three bars. If you like the idea of me building you a custom scanner or indicator for Thinkorswim, check out my site, daytradingstrategies.net, where once you're signed up, under the contact us tab here, you will be able to get access to my personal email where I will build you anything that you would like me to build. Daytradingstrategies.net, link in the description down below. Remember now, we're really only halfway through building this scanner. The request was for a scanner with growing RSI values, but also growing volume values. And I think it's really cool to sort of combine both of those. That was really the idea that I loved behind this scanner because 
the volume alongside the RSI gives validity to the move. If there's actual heavier volume in the building ramp up of the move, it tends to be more true, more strong, less likely to fail. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wrap this RSI code in parentheses because I need this entire thing to be true. And I'm going to open a new parenthesis bracket for the volume. But we're going to build the volume exactly like we built the, the RSI. Volume of this bar is greater than volume of a bar ago. And the volume of a bar ago is greater than the volume of two bars ago. And the volume of two bars ago is greater than the volume of three bars ago. I go ahead and wrap this close to parentheses. This should work. I didn't do the uh, open close parentheses here, but for volume, you actually don't need to, but I like to do it just so you all understand when I am calling in functions that are built into the script of uh, Thinkorswim. Anyway, ranting, let me go ahead and hit okay on this, run this scanner. I'm gonna give this thing a second to run. I'll be right back and hopefully it's working as intended. Alrighty, so our list really shortened up here, which is actually a good thing, right? You wanna have a pretty narrow list of stocks that you are looking to trade at any given point, either intraday, or obviously you can run this thing on the daily time frame if you'd rather use it for swinging whatever time frame you wanna run it against. But let's go ahead and take a look at RTX or Raytheon, which over the last three bars, a new bar has actually opened since I ran that scanner. So uh, don't focus on this one, but in the previous three bars, we have growing volume and we have growing RSI. Looks like it's working correctly. Let's go ahead and run the scanner again. Now that once we hit this new minute bar here, I'll run the scanner again, just so, uh, just to confirm it a little bit prettier so it's not failing here on the end. Alrighty, new bar just opened, just ran the scanner. Let's go look quickly before it changes at crowdsource. We should see, yep, over the last three bars, growing volume and a growing RSI, although barely here, but still was growing. So the scanner does look to be working as intended. Now, we're looking at the one minute chart here, so it's kind of hard, like if you can't tell from what I'm having to do here, it's kind of hard to like quickly test this and really make sure it's working because the whole scan changes every minute, right? So I'm just gonna switch my aggregation period here on the code that I wrote, 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 wrote written, Righted. I'm going to change it to daily and I'm going to run this scanner so we can go ahead and take a look at some daily charts so we can get a little bit more time to break this thing down so I can really, really show you in a little bit more detail how it is working. Okay, so I was slightly afraid this was going to happen. If you guys weren't aware, I'm making this video kind of uh, during a pretty harsh market downturn. So there's really not going to be a lot of great bullish moves in the market right now to look at. We've really only got one stock with any credible volume worth looking at at all. That is XGN. And even this stock on the daily is not beautiful, but it does give me an opportunity. You can see now here over the last three bars, including the current bar, remember, and this is why the one minute is, is so difficult because even intra minute, if that bar changes, it'll change on the scanner, right? Because we're looking at the current bar. You, of course, if you didn't like that, could come in and you can make, you know, the first one be RSI from last bar to two bars and then two bars to three bars and then three bars to four bars. If that makes sense, like just cut out the current RSI and the current volume if you only want to look at what is already closed, which might even be a better idea, but we built this, we built this scanner step by step so that hopefully you understand how to build it. So if you want to tweak it a little bit to make it work for yourself, you should hopefully now have the powers to do that. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. But looking at XGN, obviously huge volume today, must've gotten some kind of news, but even over the, compared to the last bar, obviously higher. And then last bar compared to the previous bar, higher. Same with the RSI, this bar higher than the previous bar, previous bar higher than the bar before that. So you now have a scanner returning stocks with both building volume and building RSI on any time frame you would like to run it against. I have already gone ahead and added this scanner into my website. So if you are a member, go into our strategies, click on the Thinkorswim logo 
obviously go into scanners. Now, I did add this one to the day trading scanners because it was asked to be set as a one minute scan. But of course, you can change it to daily, use it as a swing trading scanner. But as with all my scanners, as with all my strategies, as with all my studies, you click into it, you can go ahead and copy this share scan link. And then when you jump back over into your Thinkorswim, you would simply go to setup, open shared item, making sure you all can see paste preview import that'll pop it up in this funny little window which you can get rid of you just simply go to your scanners load in a scan scan query and look for the dts raising rsi scan trading stocks he talks about trading stocks it's important for you americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks <laughs>